This is Dabu 7. We have Chinese scientists simulating a nuclear blast in the atmosphere, and they're saying that this is all testing against Starlink satellites. If you guys are not aware of this, China is saying that Starlink and its whole array is basically a threat to their country. And they can pull off these simulations here with great accuracy. This is the Chinese military scientist unit that is conducting all of these tests. And they're looking at trying to cripple or destroy the satellites that are in near-Earth orbit connected to Elon Musk's SpaceX. Some people have seen these trains in the sky going by, look like diamonds in the sky. And some people freak out not knowing what they're looking at or what they're seeing. Well, in this simulation, the results suggest that a 10 megaton warhead could create a serious threat to satellites. And they're talking about satellites in this whole testing simulation. They're not once talking about what it's going to do below. These simulations are running at around 50 miles above the surface of the Earth. That is exactly where you detonate an EMP. And our United States military conducted tests like this some years ago. Back in, I believe, 1958, the U.S. detonated a 3.8 megaton bomb at an altitude of 77 kilometers over the, Johnst the Johnston Atoll west of Hawaii. This was known as the Teak Test. And in it, some of the Honolulu residents there said the explosion created a fireball that turned from light yellow to red and that a huge cloud rose above the fireball and remained visible for about an hour. What is also very interesting about this test is that even though they did this out in the middle of the Pacific, it fried circuits in New Zealand and in other faraway places. So it, it had damaging effects, and they knew this, on the electrical grids. Now here is China saying that they're simulating these tests because of these satellites. Is it really because of the satellites? Are the satellites going to set the stage for an excuse here to detonate one of these things in the atmosphere? If it detonates over a specific area, that area is toast. As you can see here in the image, what it does is it creates this short pulse from the atmosphere down to what's directly below it, and it will fry out everything. And they know this. They know this full well. And it may not do much in the way of damaging a whole lot of satellites up there, but it, for surely, because of the gravitational effects and all that energy raining down, it's going to fry everything below it. Everything it has a circuit, everything from your vehicle to a computer to everything in society. I did find a National Geographic clip that shows them pulling off this test or talking about it years ago and showing some clips and in it, their wording. You should probably pay attention to it. I'm not going to play it because they'll just hit me for, for a copyright. But in the clip, they say, they talk about this like it's going to happen, like it will happen. If you just listen to it, every word that they say is in that way, that it's going to happen. And then when it does, the United States is going to get sent back to the Stone Age and it's going to shift the power on this planet. They actually even say that. So what did they know way back then? What do they know now, obviously? What is about to happen? For the longest time, I've asked you, do you have a plan for when the lights go out? I hope you do. I hope you've been preparing, not slacking. Because ever since the scam popped off, many of the people around me, me included, have had my pedal to the metal, flooring it, doing everything we can to get ready for this big event that's coming around the corner. Whether or not it's an EMP, Carrington event, or if it's the CBDC, blockchain, getting rolled out. The privacy in your way of life is all going to change forever. Big events coming right around the corner. I hope you're ready. Hit that subscribe button. 
Join me for the live streams Monday and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern on Dapu 777, where I break stuff like this down further, censorship-free. Much love.